In the short term, the Euro Europe and the European Union are in a lot of trouble. Uh, Frankly, uh, European policymakers have completely mishandled uh, the crisis of the last few years, and that's led to something of a crisis of legitimacy for the European Union. And there is absolutely no evidence that policymakers have grasped the depth of this crisis, either in political or economic terms. Uh, what we're seeing, for example, at the moment, is this fixation on the short term. Uh, fiscal positions of the uh, European Union countries, which is by far from the biggest problem facing us. Uh, and meanwhile, we see the European Central Bank being prevented from taking the actions that it needs to take in the short term to get the European economy back on its feet um, at a time when unemployment, and especially youth unemployment, um, is at really at unacceptably high levels in most European countries. and at levels that are nothing short of catastrophic in some countries like Spain and Greece, for example. As well as the short-term problems, the European Union faces a number of challenges in the longer term. So there are some that we know about, for example, the financing of the European welfare state and the social model over the medium to long term, uh, the rise of China and other emerging market powers. There are some things that we don't know very much about, like what the impact will be of climate change um, or what the impact of technological, the technological progress that we know will happen on uh, our economy, in particular on, the shape of, on jobs and the shape of the labour market. And research really ought to be focusing on, in my view, what we know we have to do to address some of the long-term challenges that we know are going to face us and the unanswered questions that we don't know about what might happen in the future. European policymakers really need to get their act together and focus on the big issues um, rather on the sort of rather petty infighting which has become prevalent of, of late. The big challenge facing uh, the European Union is not that some states are running deficits, it's not free movement of workers within the European Union about which uh, my fellow countrymen are currently becoming completely hysterical. It is growth and jobs and we really need to refocus on growth and jobs and we need to get policy makers to refocus on growth and jobs and we need them to communicate to people around the European Union that we are actually going to do something about it rather than sitting around and fiddling.